What's good, real cool people? It's your boy David, the real cool dude, coming at you with another movie review. Today, we will be reviewing Spider-Man Far From Home. Thwip! So, Spider-Man Far From Home had a big job in wrapping up phase three of the MCU. Because honestly, that's the big question now is, after this movie, where does the MCU go? And that's a lot of weight for one movie to carry, especially a movie that's not one of the Avengers films. Sorry guys if you hear loudness in the background. There's gardening or something happening outside. So does this film do the deed and wrap things up in a beautiful way? Let's dig in. So as far as our story goes, this takes place shortly after Endgame where it's post re-snap of everyone coming back after the five years of the first snap. And it was kind of cool seeing how the world had to readjust and learn things, and especially in a school setting, because I'm sure a lot of people were saying the same thing, where if some kids were still around for the five years, and then a kid comes back after having been snapped, the kids who were around are now five years older. And it's pretty cool, because they do touch on that fact. As far as where we go with Spider-Man and his amazing friends, um, we see a little bit more development. We see them dealing with things post-Endgame. We see Spider-Man in this weird new headspace because of all that he's been through in a relatively short amount of time. But here's my problem with this. I feel like we needed to go to maybe some deeper, darker places with Parker because he's seen some stuff. And a lot of his beats felt similar to the beats that we felt emotionally and with his development in Homecoming. Even the development with him and his friends, again, it felt like more of the same and not in so much a way that's better. And of course, we get introduced to Mysterio, and he's pretty dope. Now, I gotta really pick and choose my words carefully here because I don't want to go into any kind of spoiler territory. But... I do like the arc that we see with Mysterio in this film. I like the dynamic that he and Spider-Man have together, and it really, really makes the third act that much more poignant. And as far as the three-act structure and the pacing goes with this movie, I mean, it hits every beat perfectly. You feel in it and engaged the entire time. It's a really fun ride. Now, having said all these wonderful things, I do have some thoughts. If you guys follow me on my social media, primarily my Instagram, I said this on my story yesterday. I feel like at this point in our development with Spider-Man, Marvel itself is its own detriment. Yes, this is the second solo film, but it's like the fourth time that we've seen Spider-Man in a relevant role within a film of the MCU. Which pretty much means at this point, you gotta bring the heat. We need something new, we need something fresh, we need something really compelling, or else it's all gonna feel the same. And I can't lie, that's how I felt with this film. I felt like it was really great, but more of the same. Nothing really felt elevated, nothing felt like it took me to a new place, and I definitely didn't feel like anything really got wrapped up in regards to phase three. Marvel is the only thing holding itself back. They set the bar so high with a lot of these films that I'm not saying that this movie needed to feel like Endgame or any other film. I'm actually saying the complete opposite. I needed this to be different. I needed this to take us somewhere else, especially because it is the final chapter of Phase 3. Overall, Spider-Man Far From Home is buckets of fun. The characters, dope. The chemistry, dope. The visuals, come on, you know they got that Disney money. The CG is on point. And to their credit, they let Tom Holland, or at least a stunt actor, do a lot of practical work. So it's really cool to see a real person in the flesh or in the suit doing the spidey goodness. But again, at this point in the MCU, there is now a bar that has been set. Now, does everything need to go beyond that bar? No, but I feel like most things should at least be touching, touching the little, little bottom part of that bar. And this movie is really close, 
but not quite there for me. Again, not that this is a bad movie at all. This movie is fantastic. This movie is wonderful. But I felt like I was still unsatisfied. Real cool people, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this movie. What were your thoughts? I mean, I'm sure you agree that it's a great movie, but do you agree that it was still a little lackluster in doing its job of wrapping up phase three? Let me know in the comments below. I feel bad for even having to say that, but I do. I keeps it real. And that's my time, people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, be sure to hook your boy up with that like, like, like. And of course, if you like all that chocolatey goodness, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Real Cool Dude, R-E-E-L Cool Dude. Y'all know the deal. My real cool people, thank you for going down this thwipity thwip thwip review journey with me. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the next one. You, the real cool people, are wonderful. As always, it's your boy David, the real cool dude. Keep it real. Hollywood lights, out here living the dream. I'm the chocolate man who loves silver screens. Giving movie reviews is the thing I do, because I'm the real cool dude. <laughs>